Heads high is our posture. Against all odds, we gon' prosper. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. Staying focused, we know our day coming. Negative vibes, we escape from it. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. What's good? What's good, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you come to the channel. Check out the content. My uh, my topic today is going to be Skip Bayless, man, and and like the hard lesson he learned, you know, about respect. You know, um, he was on a show, uh, undisputed. Now. They're saying that he's going to be leaving soon, like within the next month or so, right? And I'm not sure if they're going to like cancel the show altogether or if they're going to replace him. But either way, you know, they're saying that Skip Bayless won't be there. Now, Skip, up until like about a year ago, he did the show with Shannon Shaw. And everybody know about, you know, like uh, how Shannon Shaw was respected by Skip um you know skip used to just his ego just wouldn't allow him to show shannon the proper respect right and i always thought that you know shannon went all he always went out of his way to to show his appreciation for uh to skip for bringing him on the show undisputed and so when when somebody shows you you know that they appreciate you helping them and you helping their career you know, it's it's cool to acknowledge that, but like the respect should go both ways. And Skip didn't do that. You know, Skip, um, you know, and uh, and Skip, you know, he just uh like on an incident when he told uh Sh he disagreed with Shannon Sharp and told Shannon Sharp to put his glasses on and and all these different antics that Skip did, you know, it, it pissed Shannon Sharp off because Shannon was showing him the utmost respect. And so when people show you the kind of respect that Shannon was showing uh, Skip, and Skip never reciprocated that. And so what it eventually led to, as you know, it eventually led to Shannon Sharp leaving, right? So when Shannon left, Shannon was doing good. He, he immediately started doing good on his own podcast, you know, Club Shay Shay. And, you know, he's getting millions of views and everything. And Skip just took for granted that he could, he could just, you know, uh, uh, replace Shannon Sharp and he can just plug in other people. You know, he bought in, uh, who had, uh, uh, Keyshawn Johnson and, uh, uh, Michael Irvin and even Little Wayne, right? And what he found out was like that chemistry, the chemistry that he, that he had with Shannon Sharp, is you know it just was it it, it it couldn't be duplicated. And also, I think Skip took a hit publicly because of, like I said, because of how he act. Um, you know, maybe some of his fan, maybe some of the fans of the show didn't appreciate it. But um, he never did recover from, you know, his his fallout with Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. Now his career has taken off since since that, you know, uh, because people appreciated the way Shannon Sharp handled that situation, right? Shannon Sharp always uh, he took the high road. He always I haven't heard him say anything still to this day negative about Skip Bayless. And, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that was to his, you know, that's to his credit. Definitely to his credit that he never had a word bad to say. Um, and, and, and from there, you know, I think Skip really just, he just hurt his career. Um, he don't have the same chemistry with Keyshawn Johnson that he did with Shannon Sharp. He don't have that chemistry with uh, Paul Pierce um, and Luke. Little Wayne, in my opinion, really don't do a whole lot for the show because he's not really someone that people take like his his sports. You know, they don't really take his knowledge on sports really all that serious, you know. So I think this was a hard lesson for Skip to learn. 
you know, uh, uh, you know, about like, especially when you have people in your work environment and your workspace who, who appreciate you, who respect you and who, who, who don't mind working with you. And then when you turn around and, and, and uh, just disrespect them and disregard them, you know, this, this was a hard le a lesson learned for Skip, man. And uh, like I said, I applaud Shannon for the way he handled that situation. And I'm just glad that Shannon was able to come out on top. You know, a lot of times, sometimes people who, who are your uh, your bosses and your superior, it don't always work out like this. You know what I mean? Sometimes they are able to replace you and, and disregard you. And that's, a, that's another thing. Like, people was glad to see that, like, somebody who did the right thing wind up, you know, the situa their situation worked out for him. You know, if he had a curse uh curse skip out on the show and walked out and made a big scene you know uh you know people probably wouldn't have been you know that would have been a good look for him but he handled it the way he should have handled it and it worked out skip bayless handled it you know in a way that was kind of like, you know was unprofessional and, and you know it cost him so i don't know where skip goes from here but i this was a, a hard lesson learned and uh, yeah, so that, that's my take on the whole Skip Baylor situation. Um, let me know what you think. With that being said, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, also, um, leave a comment. You know, I'm anxious to see which, how you feel about this situation and how Skip Baylor's handled this. Um, do you think it's karma or do you think, you know, uh, Skip uh, Shannon was probably carrying the show anyway? But either way, let me know what you think and I'll check you all out.